Welcome to Costa Rica. Now, before you say anything, the next video will be the build on the double-decker bus, but I thought I'd upload an extra video this week just to update you guys on me and Raya moving to Costa Rica, our plans here. If you haven't been following along on our couples channel where we've been making all those videos, you may not have known what's going on. So I'm gonna give you an update. I just flew back here for 10 days. Raya's not with me, but I've come to check on the bus. And I thought today would be really fun to give you a full tour of the eco village that we're gonna be living in. So I'm gonna do a full tour of the public spaces, the communal gardens, our lot, showing you all of the growth that's happened since we were here two and a half months ago. And as you know from the last video, any sponsorships and brand partnerships are very welcome right now. So today's sponsored by Insta360. Today they've released a new camera, the X3. It's a 360 camera and I'm gonna be vlogging the whole of today's video on it putting it to the test. I'm also gonna be showing you what you can do and how creative you can be with 360 footage and reframing that. And I think it's gonna be perfect for showing off this amazing village we're in. So one of the things about Costa Rica at this time of year, it's super, super rainy. And if you were following along on the couples channel, you'd know that the floor all kind of rotted and got moldy from water leaking in in the bus. So partly why I'm back is to finish fixing the floor, relay some new floor in there, and also pick up our dog Callie. Callie, come here. So our good friend Jai has been looking after Callie for the last two and a half months and I just picked her up the other day and it's so good to be with you again, Callie. Mm. Again, if you didn't know, we've adopted a Costa Rican street dog. What are you doing, Callie? So before I give you guys a tour, I'm just nipping down to one of the towns nearby to pick up some wood to repair the floor that was damaged on the bus. Callie has been missing us a lot, so she's a bit clingy right now and she refuses to sit in the back seat. So I have to drive around with her on my lap for the moment. Um, I need to figure out a longer term solution because it can't be like this every time we drive anywhere. Luckily, I have found the wood nearby. This guy's just bringing in the forklift truck to collect it. I've strapped the wood on the roof and I've got some groceries in the back. Now we're heading back up to Alegria. It might be kind of noisy, but I'm going to take you up to the top of the village where the entrance is. Looks like Callie's coming for a little adventure as well. Come on, Callie. Come on. I'm going to assume you don't know anything about this village that me and Raya have moved to in Costa Rica. The name of the village is Alegria Village. It's in the birthing stages of becoming a village. So the infrastructure is pretty much done. People are just starting to build houses. But this is honestly for me just like a record of what did this look like at the very beginning. Before the land was bought and the plans were put in to turn this into a residential area. It was actually a cattle ranch, so a lot of it had been deforested, a lot of destruction. So really in coming here, it's rejuvenating the land. It's learning how to live in harmony with nature. I think there's already been like 3,000 fruit trees planted. And also a good chunk of the lots were sold to local Costa Ricans and other people from Latin America. And a big part of being here is to connect in with the locals, see how we can support this area, see what we can learn from indigenous knowledge. And I'm just super excited to, when me and Raya start having kids, bring them up in such an incredible natural space, but also in deep community. So we've already met some of our neighbors. It's gonna be this beautiful, beautiful place. Anyway, so this is pretty much the beginning entrance to the whole village. I'm gonna start just cycling around, showing you some of the roads. There are a lot of roads and I don't even think I've gone down every single road, but we'll see how we can get on. I'm filming all of this in 360 so I can kind of like pan the camera in post to show you different lots, do a time lapse of me cycling. The first little stop, check this out. This is one of the rivers that runs through Alegria. Check that out, isn't that beautiful? Come on, Kelly. Wow. So here we are at the top of Alegria. There are stunning views over the valley and to the 
mountains on the other side. The whole of Alegria is on this huge hillside. It's kind of the whole thing's on a, a big slope. It's actually pretty steep, but the lots themselves are kind of mostly level for building. Right, we'll start here and then we'll just cruise down. So this area here on the right are some of the oldest, coolest looking trees. I don't actually know what type of tree that is. There's a, there's a few of them. But this area was set aside as a children's playground area, which I think is beautiful because, you know, I think a lot of people would love epic trees like that on their lot and they probably could have sold lots here for more money. But I think knowing that they prioritise kids learning and nature time is very reassuring for us. So obviously this is where me and Raya have got the bus parked up. Behind us is our friends Sage and Sears Airstream and we're going to be chilling here in the bus for a while until we've figured out a building plan where we're going to move the bus more permanently but at the moment it's literally just like parked on the side of the road. And now I'll show you how our lot's getting on. So all of this area, all of that kind of forested shrub area and then this clearing, this is all ours. It's just under an acre. Amazingly, some of our best friends have bought this lot here, adjoining ours. So we're gonna be living our lives together in paradise and I cannot wait. So this is our neighbor's house just across the road and I'll show you how it's coming along. Have a little sneaky peek at it. It's a bamboo structure. Check it out, isn't this epic? So it's actually cool that a few people are building their houses before us so we can get some ideas of what works and what doesn't work. But I really love all these organic shapes and curves and the bamboo idea is amazing. Yeah, look at that. Okay. As you can see, there is another building being built up there. I actually don't know how many properties have started being built, but I've heard it's about four. We've arrived at the Yoga Shala. This is one of the communal spaces that everybody's going to get to use. And this is actually the first building built in Alegria, from what I understand. So when we first came to view Alegria in like early 2020, before the pandemic, this was here. We all sat around and learned about what they're doing here. Check this out. So this is the view from above of the communal garden. So this is where all the current food is being grown. There's actually some more over that side. There's tons of community garden there as well. And then it spans all the way around here. I've got off the bike and I'm gonna walk down to the communal garden from the yoga shala. I'm not really following a path. Once a week, all of the neighbours that are in the country or want to show up can collect a basket full of produce from this amazing garden. So there's like kale, papayas, bananas, cassava I think it is, spring onions, and then this is the dome, the geo dome. Check it out. As well as having this communal garden and the gardeners here growing all the food for the community, we also will be growing all our own food. So there's specific things that we want to be planting and growing. And I guess we've got an option of how much of our lots we want to turn into food growing space, but definitely want to maximize that so we can hopefully grow all our food. That would be the dream. I think there's some things that would be a challenge 
to grow, but I want to grow like at least 80% of what we eat on our own lot and, and here. Okay, I'm going to sit down, take a little break from cycling around and tell you a little bit more about the Insta360 X3. So it's a big upgrade from the previous version. Some of the things I love is that it's a bigger sensor, which means it's a higher megapixel for photos. It's gone from 18 megabyte stills to 72 megabyte stills, which is pretty wild. That also means you can do 8K 360 time lapses. Again, mind blowing. One of the biggest upgrades for me is that you can shoot single lens mode in 4K now. And with that extra resolution, that's really exciting for me because it means you don't have to take the 360 footage in, reframe it, render it out, re you know, process it again before you've got something you can either upload or put into your editing app. At the beginning of this vlog, I was shooting in single lens mode. When I started doing the tour, because I wanted to have shots of me talking and then use the footage reframed as a kind of time lapse driving through the roads. I did shoot in 360, but I th do think it's worth the extra effort if you're trying to get special shots, but if you're just trying to vlog like this, it's worth shooting in single lens mode. So for first time users, one of the other modes that they've introduced to make it easier for people is the me mode, which basically it's like the single lens mode, but the camera angle is pointing down the selfie stick. So it means you can get that invisible selfie stick mode without having to reframe the 360 footage. Another one is the 4K 120 frames a second bullet time, which I'm very excited about trying because in the previous camera, I was a little bit disappointed in the lower resolution bullet time shots, but I do love that feature. So I can't wait to jump in the pool or go for a bike ride and spin the camera around and you get that super slow-mo epic kind of rotation shot. The X3 now has an 1800 milliamp hour battery, which I've noticed already. I've been shooting for more than an hour and what's the battery showing? The battery is about half, so I'm pretty impressed with the extended battery life. I mean, other than that, there are a few more features on the camera. There's a bigger screen. There are, <laughs> what are you doing, Kelly? What are you doing down there? What are you doing? <laughs> There's also a 360 photo animation feature which can turn your static 360 photos into animated videos. Right, let's carry on the tour. Let's carry on cycling around. Something for me that's been a priority, knowing that we're moving to a Spanish speaking country is learning Spanish. And I'm pretty proud. I think I'm like almost at 160 day streak on Duolingo. That means I've done it every day for 160 days. And I am gradually learning. I think it's the first time in my life I've, um, I've actually made progress learning another language, which I feel ashamed about, but I've just always really struggled since school. But I'm getting there. I'm interested how good the audio is on the X3, because I think that's always been a struggle for me with any of the 360 or action cameras is the audio is noticeably worse than like a phone or a mirrorless camera. But from the tests I quickly did, I think the audio is significantly better. Right, this is the main communal area. This is called the Hive. So this is going to be a hub for co-working, events, meals, and check this out. This is just really, really beautiful. So this is the hive and then this is the communal swimming pool. There's a kid's pool and then this epic pool, which I haven't jumped in yet this visit. I was swimming in it a lot last time I was here, but look at the views from the swimming pool. Absolutely amazing. And I was so glad that we got to bring our guests and family here after our wedding in April. And this was kind of already completed. So this is the wood burning hot tub, which I don't know if they've fired it up yet, but basically, oh look, they've got all the wood ready. Maybe they have. So this wood you burn, it heats up the water. It looks like it has already been used. Last time I was here, it looked like they were still prepping it. And then I'm guessing it just jets the hot water into this. So maybe I can try and fire that up before I leave to try out. Something else that I've loved about spending a few months here after our wedding was all of the wildlife we saw toucans, little grey foxes, monkeys, coatis, which are these like raccoon slash monkey fox things. And I feel like the more that we reforest this area, 
and restore some of the wildlife corridors. I feel like we'll see a lot of animals come back. My friend said the other day he saw some uh, macaws, the multicolored ones, a whole flock of them. So this is a really cool area. This is the, the fire pit and it's like this sacred geometry shape. Check it out. Yeah, I really love that we're moving into a community of like-minded people all looking to reconnect with nature and explore or rediscover some of the, the ways in which we can, you know, reimagine society, reimagine how we could live as humanity without being so exploitative and destructive to the planet. The cool thing is Costa Rica is already running on like 97% renewable energy, mainly geothermal. So even when we plug into the grid, it's a lot better for the environment than places where all of the power is being produced by like coal power stations and stuff. I would like to get an off-road electric truck and drive that down to Costa Rica and have that as our vehicle down here. Because at the moment we've bought like a diesel truck, which again, long term, I don't want to be using fossil fuels but I think there is a transition period. Here we are in one of the children's playgrounds. Oh, <laughs> I haven't been on this swing yet. Kelly! Kelly! <laughs> what am I doing? I'm gonna take us all the way down to the bottom of the village now and see how it's looking down there. So this is the very lowest point of Alegria village and what I'm impressed with is it's still got incredible views. I think this location was chosen obviously because it's an opportunity to reforest a cattle ranch but also because this altitude is perfect for growing fruit and one of the nearest towns to us is Oratina which is known as the fruit capital of Costa Rica so I think this band of altitude that Alegria sits on is the most perfect for growing the biggest variety of, of plants. I'm excited about that. Right, this is uh, this is what the afternoons look like here in Costa Rica. Incredibly wet, just torrential tropical storms, thunder, so much water. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, it's about 8 p.m. The sun set hours ago. I have been clearing the bus, as you can see. It's looking a bit better. And I've just been putting the last few boards down. So this is ready to put laminate down tomorrow. And uh, I'm cooking myself a congratulatory dinner. Well, I'm just reheating some pasta with some pasta sauce and some veggies I cooked up yesterday. Oh, this is quite a lot. This is similar to an evening of Rio's here. Although the bus would be way nicer, cleaner, cozier and the food would be literally like 20 times better. I will be making a full video on my channel about the floor replacement. There's a bunch more content I've shot in this bus, just getting it ready, adapting things. I feel like it's an ever evolving project. Like me and Raya have always talked about like phase two, phase three. So I'm sure for years to come, I'll be doing little upgrade build videos about this bus, but it's got a good legacy. Um, so I'm glad that we're living in it and that we're putting it to use. And I think once we've built a space to live in, this will be available for you guys to come and stay in Costa Rica. We'll put it up on Airbnb or whatever. Um, so uh, I'm excited for that. So that has been a day in my life living in Costa Rica right now. Like I said, still early days. And oh, something I didn't mention is we're still completely off the grid. So solar panels on the roof of the bus are charging the batteries, which is running all of our electricity charging the laptop, lights, everything. And uh, we're getting a water tank filled up every week or so. Literally, we have no water or power on our lot yet, but that is a future plan. So I still kind of feel like we're camping here. This is a temporary move. And hopefully by the time me and Rai come back in a month or so, we'll be able to get the bus just feeling a bit nicer. So anyway, it's been fun to show you around Alegria village at the beginning of its existence and over the following years, 10, 20 years, hopefully we'll be able to share our journey here, bringing up a family here, growing all our own food, building a house, all of that stuff. So please subscribe 
if you haven't already, to follow along that journey. It's gonna be gradual, but incredibly detailed. <laughs> also, thanks again to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, all filmed on the X3. If you wanna check the camera out, I've linked it in the description below, and I will see you in a few days for the start of the Double Decker Bus build video. Peace.